Happy Monday. It's Ananda, the Galactic Mystic, and this is your Navigational Astrology Forecast for September 13th, 2021. So I am out from behind my desk today. Sometimes I have to do that. It's really the only way that I can commit to showing up regularly is if I give myself permission to not always have makeup on, to not always be behind the desk. Um, I am a bit of a workaholic, which is uh, easy to do when you have a passion so it's actually really good for me to do things like this. So I'm sitting in my backyard with my chickens. You may hear them clucking around me. They're so cute. Look at this. Hey, Aloysius. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Okay, so let's uh, navigate some of the energies of this day today, shall we? The sun is in Virgo at 21 degrees, so that's just at the beginning of the third decan of Virgo. This is the Ten of Pentacles energy that I was talking about last week. Uh, it's this legacy building, doing things that will matter in the long run, and allowing yourself to chase, not chase, but to engage in activities that fortify you in all of your dreams all the things that you want that are solid and real this is the time to really be thinking about that making plans this chicken is about to peck my toes <laughs> um, today the sun neptune opposition is exact so i've been talking about this for the last you know week and a half today it is exact and you know this is really the energies are asking us to spiritualize our consciousness whatever areas have been revealed as illusion and delusion to spiritualize those areas to up level them with your spiritual consciousness So Mars today is at the last degree of Virgo, and um, so it is, there is a wide conjunction of the Sun in Mars, but they are going to be getting closer and closer as they come into this three-way conjunction with Mercury retrograde in October, and I went into detail about this on my Sunday video. Please check that out. It is very, very interesting. We have a Sagittarius moon. The moon will be moving into Capricorn tomorrow, but today is the last day of the crescent phase. So this is, you know, if we're going to use the plant analogy, this is when the seed has germinated, it, ha it is reaching for the sun, and those first leaves have opened. When we move into the first quarter phase tomorrow, which I'll talk about more tomorrow, but this is really when we can put down those roots. Venus uh, is in Scorpio now. She's at three degrees today. So our love nature, our creative nature, the way that we are relating to others and the way we're relating to our own feelings of self-worth and self-consciousness are really deep right now. Um, there's a magnetic quality and a very intense need and desire to be loved and accepted. Now, uh, Venus is in the first decan of Scorpio, which is the Five of Cups decan, so there can be a tendency to only look at, to have kind of a defeatist mentality or to only see 
what has been lost or what is wrong or what isn't what you wish it was what you wish it was you know um, you know the five of cups is about focusing the energy on the spilled cups but not paying attention to the cups that are still full so if you start to feel that just know that there's still some full cups there's still plenty plenty of fulfillment joy and love for you Venus is also squaring Saturn and this combination you know with the depth of Virgo or uh, the depth of Venus in Scorpio can feel this challenge you know Saturn wants us to be responsible Saturn wants us to love ourselves so this is a calling to excavate excavate whatever needs to be dug up so that you can reinvigorate your self-love be responsible with yourself are you accepting things that aren't good for you I, I mean I feel like I say that a lot but honestly the energies are about that about knowing what's good for you knowing what's right for you that's the responsible choice not doing what other people think what other people say or doing things to gain approval mm -mm. Saturn doesn't like that and Venus and Scorpio is loyal deep what are you loyal to are you loyal to yourself are you loyal to other people's opinions these are the questions with a Venus Saturn square both the Sun and Mars are trining Pluto right now. So this is a lot of energy, you know, with, with the Sun and Mars coming closer into conjunction, both of them trining Pluto. This can be a bit of a, our compulsions could get away from us, our obsessions, but if it's not that, it can be the energy, the inclination to really dive beneath the surface of things. You know, the warrior transformed. Is the warrior in you, what is he fighting for? What is she fighting for? What are they fighting for? What is the warrior in you fighting for? The energy is there to fight for whatever you need right now. Do you hear that engine rev? That's a bit of a Mars Pluto energy. It's it's fuel, it's gasoline that you can use to transform your warrior nature and bring your consciousness along. This is really, really yummy. I like that. So I hope you have a great day. Um, check out Sunday's video on the Sun Mars Mercury triple conjunction it's fascinating and uh thank you for liking and subscribing thank you for being on this journey with me thank you for shining your light in this world and you know you are worthy of every good thing so take that knowledge and make the world a better place today